Hello and good evening, global citizens. Look at all of us here, 60,000 strong, together in New York City. Are we prepared to do what's necessary to end this pandemic? Hi, everybody. <laughs> it is so good to be back here with all of you. Look, we know, <laughs> we know that it feels like this pandemic has been going on forever. We get it, it is a lot. And some people are just over it. But if everyone's over it, it's never going to be over. There is so much that we can do today, now, that can get us closer to ending this pandemic. And that's why we're all here. My wife and I believe... <laughs> <laughs> My wife and I believe that where you're born should not dictate your ability to survive. Especially when the treatments exist to keep you safe. So, global citizens, we ask you tonight, do you think we should start treating the access, access to the vaccine as basic human rights? Yeah. Guys, we have what we need to vaccinate the world. But the experts told us, here's what's getting in the way. They said many countries are ready to produce vaccines at home, yet they aren't allowed to, because ultra-wealthy pharmaceutical companies are not sharing the recipes to make them. These countries... These countries have the means, the ability, and the workers to start manufacturing. All they are waiting for is the vaccine intellectual property to be waived and for the vaccine technology to be transferred over. And, and by the way, many of these vaccines were publicly funded. They are your vaccines, you paid for them.